Hello and welcome back once again to our Epirus campaign in Imperator Rome with the Menander update. We have an army of 14,000. It's not a great army. It's actually kind of trash, but it's one that we can afford. So we're going to keep it for now. Um, we are currently uh, making a claim on Ellis. It is almost complete and that is going to be our first port of call. We are going to move our armies to... You know what, I'm going to move into here because I would like, ideally, to siege Kefalonia before anything else. And as no one has got a port here, being able to march straight into Kefalonia before moving on is going to be a really good idea. We're going to send Alexia Crates Pythiad to Ellis uh, to become, you know, Olympiad man. Uh, I think that's going to be a good idea. Um, ooh, the Alean Revolt is happening. Uh, and yes, we're going to attack you. I'm going to call in my allies. We're going to take Achaia. Yes. So, everyone has honored their alliances. Good. We're going to force march you onto Kefalonia. Damn it. We're too slow. But now we weren't. Haha. Get wrecked. Right. So, that's been sieged. Let's go. The gods of war. Ooh. 15 uh, political influence lost, but I get morale of armies. I do like army maintenance cost, though. I mean, maintenance cost is really tempting. Yeah, I think uh, maintenance. I need me the money. The money is important. Olympic Games conclude, and I do not win, unfortunately. Let's go and siege Thermos. Coastal capital, I am Ionian hub. The administration has been successfully relocated to Ambracia, where construction on the new palace complex is said to continue for some time. From now on, all business will be conducted from the less defensible but more connected southern capital. Fantastic. An argument has been furiously raging for some time now between Pythias Atid and Tessicrates Megaclid. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, sp split, it, split it in half. Whatever, who cares. Uh, but yeah, that is a much better location for a, uh, for a capital. I like it. I like it a lot. We are now losing food here again, which is really bad. Why? Cassiopeia, Amparachia, Cookie. Oh, it's because of the Navy. It's because of the Navy. That's not good. Hey, whoa, what the fuck? Tragedy is once again struck in Macedon, where the uncertainty of the succession has put the remaining two eldest sons of Cassandras, Antipatris and Alexandrus. Two eldest sons of Cassandras. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. Into a bitter struggle for the throne, Alexandrus the Younger has been forced to take up arms against his elder brother and has now arrived at our court requesting assistance in conflict. In exchange for our help, Alexandrus has promised to grant us the subjugated Ambracian and Acarnian territories. The ones that I already own? Is that, is that those ones, is it? The ones I already own? Thessalonica Argeid is poisoned by Antipatris. Don't you fucking dare. She's already dead. Was poisoned. Oh, yeah, has happened. Uh, no. I'm staying out of it because fuck you. I already have the land that you want. Also, I would be added to the war against the Antigonids. Straight up, solid amounts of fuck right off. Stay out of it. Go away. Leave me alone. I'm busy. Yeah, we're losing food because of this. Uh, these two ships here. Uh, we've now got a claim on Dime. That's nice. Megara wants access. Sure. I wish I had one... Oh, hello. One extra um, martial ability. That'd be nice. Uh, I gain energetic. Simply nothing is capable of tiring out Pyrrhus. It is rumored that he sleeps for three hours a night and wakes brimming with energy, ready to juggle three jobs and a family. Oh, I do have a family. Ah, oh, nice. I have a daughter. I didn't even realize. So energetic gives me... Oh, <gasps> plus one marshal. 15. Yes. Ha ha. That's awesome. That's epic. So now 15 makes the siege go faster because of commander impact. You get plus one for each five marshal. That's fantastic. Let's loot the place. Aha, get fucked. All right, let's go to Amphisa now. That was perfect. Uh, let's also get population growth, and I want that herbalism as well. Global monthly food. Very important. 
Hey, more money. Let's get that monthly food as I was talking about. Fog would be useful as well. Oh, I am in the hill. I don't like that. But if you want to go to Thermos, please go to Thermos instead. Hey, that was nice. Uh, or you could keep attacking me one minuscule army at a time. That works too. Minor addendum, six stability for ten political influence. Yeah. Stability is now positive, which is a huge, huge change. And Anfisa has also been sacked. We'll let the men roam freely again. And my armies will move to Patrai. Ooh, I didn't notice this. There's also a breakup of the sea zone between uh, this area and this area. Sinus Corinthus and Sinus Petraeus um, is now new sea zones. I think that's new. I don't think that was the case before. So I, I do like that change. Uh, let's get Fug. Uh, because that increases this primary culture happiness. Which it starts at 50%. And uh, you know the more you boost that, the better. Every... Every culture that I will integrate is going to lower this by 5%. So, you know, Fug is super useful. Make sure that doesn't go down too hard. Alright, so we will now... If I lose a battle now, I, I basically die. Although, having said that, I would retreat somewhere else. Because um, when you are shattering, you don't follow the rules of regular retreating. Which is interesting. You don't you don't follow the usual fort rules. A bit sad, but you know it is what it is. All right, let's uh, pop it up back up to speed five. Oh, this is not good. There's no food. There's no food. Uh, but Petrai is out. Take that. Who are you, Aetolia? Unfortunately, Aetolia owns Zakintha, so I can't do anything yet. Citizens for Tarlantia, we're informed that a group of citizens are preparing for a move from Ophalian to Bilis, one of the regions of our ally Tarlantia. It's said that having better understanding of our two cultures, blah blah blah, I don't want to lose a citizen. But I also don't want to lose any of the other things, so fine. I'll take you back eventually. And uh, Tarlantia gives me 29 ducats for the trouble. Sue peace from Ellis, no. I will sue for peace from Amphisa. Take your land. That works. Hell yeah. Yes. Lose your aggressive expansion immediately. Zero aggressive expansion for me. Uh, Petrai as well. We'll take. Uh, no, actually, you know what? Reset that. Oh, you can't be. Why can't you become my client? Uh, my my feudatory. I don't want clients. So I don't want feudatories. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna fucking take the land then. That's really annoying. I was hoping that that would be feudatory. I don't know why it isn't. Also, you are now gaining food again, plus nine, because that bloody boat's gone away. Thank god. I think the pirates may have killed them, which is nice. You want stone? Sure thing. Yeah, unfortunately I can't piece you out yet, because I don't have you fully occupied. The Siege of Olympia is won. Fantastic. Let's do some more... That's gonna be useful, but let's um, let's go back with Hades. That Texas is looking real nice. We'll take out Ellis as well. Ellis, I would very much like to be a feudatory because I don't want to be the one in control of the um, what do you call it? The 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 Olympics. I would like that to stay his job. But I'm not sure about that yet. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Zakynthus is not defended by the navy, so I should be fine to go and uh, take that out as soon as this has fallen. He's building new troops, uh, but it's not going to work. Because he's not defending them, and there's not enough men. Lovely. He's all gone. More taxes for loot or popularity of a dude. That's fine by me. Alright, that's 100%. Right, so... Firstly... Aetolia, sue you for peace. I want everything you own. I don't want you to be a feudatory because I want your land. I'll be a regional power now as well. Fantastic. Uh, we will lose the aggressive expansion and I will get the cup of Odysseus. Very nice. Now, second thing. Uh, Ellis, I do want you to be a feudatory. Yes, perfect. 
Nice. So you are now a feudatory. I would very much like to release this as a feudatory. But it doesn't look like it's possible. Rising from obscurity. Um, the Agids, the Nicids, the Pythiids. I'm going to accept the Pythiids. Because they're pretty damn good. Uh, foreign claims on me. Aegean, Azania. Uh, I would hope that that's purely because I just took this land and you already have claims there. I don't know if that's the case though. Uh, let us get rid of this fortress here. I don't want that anymore. It's costing me quite a bit of money. Fort maintenance of four ducats is a bit rough. I think everyone else can keep it. Maybe Amphisa can lose theirs as well. It's not protected by anything yet, but will be eventually, I think. Uh, also, the Pythiids want more jobs. They need two more jobs. We can get rid of some from the anyone else, basically. Um, right, so let's have a look here. Is anyone really bad at their job? Mm, you're not great, my Hierophant. Let's remove you and put you in charge. You're not great either, Megaclid. You're my friend, though, and you're, I guess you're the head of a family as well. Right? Yes, you are. Okay, you cannot lose your job. Uh, what about researchers? Where's my research page? I always lose these. Technology, there it is. Is there anyone that is not from a major family? No. Okay. You're from the Megaclids. Uh, 80%. You're not great. You're you're worse. Let's get rid of Lysias Gelid. And swap you out for you, I guess. You're not much better, honestly. Uh, Alright, and what else do we want from here? Is there anything really, really necessary? Build cost is nice. I love change of governor policy cost as well. That's really handy. Oh, a lot of these things are really handy. I'm going to leave it for now. We can also get another trade route in our capital. And we're going to get iron from Cappadocia. Partially because it's worth quite a bit of money. Um, iron is one of the the good ones, 0.3. Um, and partially because I do want to transition into using more heavy cavalry. Last of the Argyra Speedays. We have rumors of one of the fabled silver shields. Ooh, 50 ducats for you. You're very, very good, my dude. You're very, very good. And I want you very much. But I'm not going to take you because... Uh, 12 Marshall, oh, 70 Statesmanship, Jesus Christ, you're good. I can swap you out for you. Yeah, 50 ducats, I'll swap them out for him. Make my morale 8% better. Alright, new mission task. Uh, a new city is done. We'll lose 100 gold here, and some stuff will happen. Our main center is remain inland, excluding us from commercial enterprises and naval expansion. If we were to again attain the heights achieved by Alexandrus I... Who's Alexandrus I? Because Alexander the Great was Alexander the Second. Or is it... Was he the Fourth, actually? You know what? We can check that, because he's in here, isn't he? Um... Alexander the Great. Yeah... Oh, come on. Show me. Show me him. I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was the fourth. Alexander the first, I don't particularly know too well. Uh, but either way, um, we must build a coastal center that matches our aims and ambition. So our most skilled workers are all but ready to establish a new city on the Adriatic coast, one which will be worthy of the might of our kingdom and rival the urban centers of fellow Greeks. Vesalius Pyrrhus has decided to name the city Achaelia. Uh, Achilles, after Achilles, oh that's nice, after the historic ancestor of the Aeacid dynasty who so valiantly fell in the siege of Troy. All that remains is to choose a suitable location along the Ionian coast. Uh, right, so that's hills, so Kesopi doesn't seem like a good idea. Gitana, not a port, no. Foyaniki, uh, not a coast. Uh, mm. Oricos, also not a port. Honestly, Cassiope is best there. I mean, they're all hills. But you've got a port as well, so Cassiope. There's no no question. 
Ugh, it's got livestock. Well, that may have been a, a problem. Uh, but yeah, you can have some more olives, I guess. And marble, sure. Earthenware, sure. So you're going to be a city. I guess it's, yeah, doing that way. Okie dokie. So this one wants Ambrakia to have all building slots filled and two provincial investments. You want... Glaucius to die. Okay. We'll wait for Glaucius to die. How how healthy is he? He's still fine. But he's 67, so it could uh, that could change at any moment. Tell you what, there's a lot of trade goods. A lot more trade goods than I'm used to. Oh, you've also got a spare trade route. I'm going to get some grain from the, An uh, the bleh, Antigonids. Uh, they've ended their war with Seleucids and lost a bunch of territory, though not Syria. They lost a little bit of Syria. I mean, they lost Palmyrene. Still at war with Egypt and losing... Uh, it looks like they've peaced out with Thrace. Uh, actually, Thrace is now a client. Macedon is pieced out as well. Um, we'll send either of these. I don't really care. And our nation is actually really looking good. Uh, no pretender support to note. Income is solid. Manpower is going up again. Political influence has gone up nicely. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I mean, I, I can afford to lose 10 stability. 54 political influence is really nice. And with that, I'm going to... I'm going to get some population output in the capital. I mean, I know there's this local import route. It's really fucking powerful. God damn, game. Why'd you have to make one of these so much better than all of the others? I have to. I have to. It's so much more powerful. It's so much more powerful. <sighs> damn it. So we're going to do that. Uh, dime. We're going to go and kill Dime. Really? I mean, okay. Uh, a little bit strange that you do that twice in a row. You've got still no friends. Let's just take your land. I would honestly really prefer to make him a feudatory and then give him Petre. Oricos is now... Wait, Oracos? What? No, no, I did not choose Oracos. I chose Kasop. I chose Kasop. I chose Kasop. What the fuck? Did I click the wrong button? What? I chose Kasop. It's cool though that the name changed. I, I, I like that. But it, what, I chose Kasop. It has a port. Damn it. Oh, it's also got dyes. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Uh, anyway, we'll let men run freely in dime. And I'll sue you for peace and make you a feudatory. The reason I would prefer have to have done it a bit differently is because now dime will forever have a negative modifier CB on us. Negative 25%. That is never going to change. And that is really fucking awful. Um... A son. This is my first son, right? It is. Uh, we're going to call him Achilles, then. Because he is indeed the heir of Achilles. Uh, and now, another thing that's new in uh, this Menander patch is that when you have finished a provincial um, thing, Entice Business Investments or one of the others, you also get a little uh, one of these about it. So that's cool. Right, so what do I want now? Uh, what do I want now? I do want wine. I want double wine. Definitely want double wine. I could also get some papyrus, make my nobles happier. Some cloth. Double cloth, maybe. There's glass there for citizen happiness. Earthenware for freeman output. That's not bad. Uh, I want double salt and double wine, though. Let's go with double wine first, if we can. 
And honestly, just give me another fucking investment then. I, I actually really hate that it's like that. Let's give him Petre. Can I get any money for it? No. But now we have you with Petre, and I just actually went down a level. Not great. Uh, Ellis then will sell you the territory of Zakynthus. Purely because I don't have any land here, and I don't want any land here yet. Alliance from Messenia, no thank you. Pyrrhus gains popularity. Uh, Epistraticus gains some civic. Sure. Works for me. I don't think there's anything there that I want yet. Right, but we want to have a look around and see where we can attack next. So, for starters, there's you. You would call me to war with Delphi only. Uh, mostly because Boeotia has ceased to exist. It's just the Antigonids here now. Uh, I've got Aegean. If I was brave, I would go for that, but that is a little bit too much. I think that would be definitely chewing off a bit too much. We'd also go for Macedon again. Um, our truce with them is up, I believe. Yeah, there's no truce. We'd only be at war with them and Argos. I'm not worried about Argos. You've got 20,000 men, which is more than me. But I have the better general. And I'm fairly confident of victory, so we're going to go for Thessaly. We're going to do that. Uh, we're also going to say that we're going to make our Macedonians a bit happier. Got, uh, no, 41 stability. Let's wait until the stability is a bit higher, then we're going to do some more with Macedonians. There's a lot more Aetolians as well. Uh, all of these uh, areas are full of Aetolians, including my capital. Lots of Aetolians in the capital. Whereas Macedonians, if we have a look at those, there, there's a lot of them. They're spread out all the way. And the Bactria is full of them as well. Even down in Macca. Obviously a bit in Egypt as well. I do love that new culture map mod. It's very, very nice. Um, build cost would be nice. Get that build cost early, then we're going to save up and we need to build buildings in uh, in Ambrachia. So the Gelid family has unfortunately fallen from grace uh, because we're no longer a you know powerful family. We're back to being only a local power. Uh, but that's okay. That's fine for now. Uh, show of support will be appreciated. Fine. Take my fucking gold then. Scorn families are back to being Ayakids pissed off. So I guess we need to... Uh, can I adopt you? He's not of my primary culture. Fine. You're a minor character. There we go. You're now my, my dynasty. Good job. Congratulations. I bet you're super proud of yourself. Alright, well, I'm going to put a cut in there. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, feel free to click the like button. If you want to support me, that's the best way. Comments as well, they help me out. If you want to help me out in another way, I do have a Patreon page, and the, uh, the link to that is in the description if you want to help me out there. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.